Hi guys. Okay, this is part ooh, part two to our grammar lesson this week. Today is going to be something new that we haven't learned a whole lot about, and that is going to be past, future, and present tense verbs. We've talked a little bit about how verbs are different, right? We have verbs, we have plural verbs, and we have singular verbs. So now we're going to break that down even further and talk about past, future, and present tense verbs. These are verbs that are important that we use properly because if we don't use these words properly, we don't, we're not making proper sense. So it's really important that we know the difference and we know how to make sure our grammar flows the way it's supposed to. So if you have your green folder at home, or maybe in your class it's not green, but if you have your Shirley grammar folder, I would love for you to get that out. If you're in my class, it'd be in your green folder, and it would be, um, we're looking for page, it's reference 31, and the bottom of the page might say um, 87, I think. But we're looking for reference, I'm sorry, 83. So it's, remember, it's not going to be in order of 83 because we just, we put different things in that folder. But the bottom of the page should say 83, but we're looking for reference 31. So I'm going to turn over if you don't have it. That's okay because I'm going to show it to you on my docu camera. And hopefully it's clear enough that you can read it. And if not, I'm going to read it out loud also. So this is when we're talking again about present, future, and past tense verbs. So let me get this right in here the right way so you guys can see what I'm reading. All right, I'm gonna use my little pencil here to guide me and to guide you also. If you have your own book, feel free to use that. When you are writing paragraphs, you must use verbs that are in the same tense. Tense means time. Tense means what? Time. The tense of a verb shows the time of the action. There are three basic tenses that show when an action takes place. There are, pr there are present tense, past tense, and future tense. Now we're going to learn to recognize each kind of tense. So first we have present tense. So touch number one, the present tense, shows that something is happening now in the present. Present tense verbs that are singular end in S. Present tense verbs that are plural do not end in S. Singular present tense verbs listen, or plural present tense verb listen. The student listens carefully, or the students listen carefully, okay? So if I have a plural, I still don't have an ES on it, it's just um, the plural present tense verb is just gonna be, it's not gonna have anything. But if I have a singular present tense, it's gonna have the S at the end. So present means it's happening when, it's happening right now, great job. Okay, number two, now I have past tense. The past tense shows that something has happened sometime in the past. Most past tense verbs end in ED for both the singular and the plural forms. So I'm looking, when I'm looking to figure out if I have past tense, I'm going to be looking for, yes, verbs that end in ED. Singular past tense verb listen, the plural past tense verb is still listened. All right, examples. Ah, the student listened carefully, or the students listened carefully. So the plural and singular past tense for past tense verbs are normally the same. And next I have future. The future shows that something will happen sometime in the future. The future tense verb also always has the helping verb will before the main verb for both the singular and the plural form. So how do I know? What is a trick that I can use to find out if it's future? It's always going to have the helping verb. What? Wheel. That's right. It's always going to have will in front of it, not wheel, wheel, will. <laughs> it's always going to have will in front of it. So my present tense is usually going to end in a s. My past tense is going to usually end in ed. And my future tense is usually going to have will in front of it, the helping verb will. That is correct. Okay, so here's some examples. So what we're looking for in present tense, we kind of just went over that a little bit. If I'm for present tense, I'm looking for S, E, S, or a plain ending. In the past tense, I'm looking for ED or ED. 
and then for future tense i'm looking for will or shall in front of it okay will or shall in front of it and then it has some examples down here on your test it's going to look like this except this verb tense is going to be gone you have to tell me uh, future i'm sorry one is present two is past tense and three is future tense on your test you're going to, have to tell me these numbers all of this will be done for you it'll even have the uh, verb underlined for you you have to just tell me what tense am i using remember tense means time so see right here it says she she cheers at the football game when is she cheering she's cheering right now she's cheering as we speak so it's happening in the present she cheers that is a hard one okay the number two i have she cheered at the football game so when did she do it? Well, I don't know when the football game was, right? Maybe it was last night and she cheered really hard, but it didn't happen right now. It didn't happen later. It happened before. So I'm saying she cheered, past tense. And then I have she will cheer at the football game. So it's going to happen at some point. Whenever she goes, she's going to cheer. All right. And then the next one is going to be our verbs over here. The principal will talk to our class. When is she going to talk? Well, in the future, right? She's gonna come by and say, hey, or what's up, or how's it going? But she will talk to us. And it's gonna happen in the future. That's gonna be number three. And then number five, the principal talks to our class. So the principal is talking right now, right? She's in the class, she's talking to us. So it's, it's happening right now in the present. And then number six, the principal talked to our class. So she talked to our class when? Maybe five minutes ago, maybe an hour ago, maybe a week ago. But when she talked to us, it happened in the past. It didn't happen in the future. So that is a quick way to remember about future, past, and present tense. Remember, if it's present, it ends in an S. If it's past, it ends in usually ED or ED. And future will have will or shall in front of it. Okay, so now let's talk about some examples that we haven't done and that you will be doing on your test. So we have school will close for the summer. School will close for the summer. So is the school gonna close in the present? It's happening right now. Is it gonna happen in the past? Number two is going to be for past. So I'm gonna put, um, how about I put, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm gonna put in for one now, okay? Then I'm gonna put past is going to be two, and then future is going to be three, right? That's how I'm filling it out. So one is present or right now, two is past, and three is future, and it's also, on your test up here if we were in if we were in school you would have it written up here as well um, but you're not going to have that luxury so if you need to use your um, your green folder on your test then I think that'd be a great a great resource for you to help you okay so school will close for the summer I want you to think about it school will close for the summer what uh, tense are we talking about number one now number two in the past or number three in the future when is this going to happen it's going to happen in the future school will close it hasn't happened yet it's not happening right now it's going to happen in the future so i put a three all right number two school closed closed for the summer school closed for the summer what am i going to use for that one when did it happen did it happen now? Did it happen in the past or did it happen in the future? It's happening in the past, right? That ED gives a clue, right? Just like Will gave us a clue that was going to be um, in the future, ED is giving us a clue that it's going to be in the past. All right, how about school closes for the summer? School closes for the summer. That's another tricky one, right? School closes for the summer. Think about it. Is it happening now? Is it happening in the future? Or is it happening in the past? It's happening now. School closes for the summer. I'm talking about when is it closing? It's closing now. It's closed. School closes for the summer. I'm, I'm referencing it as it's happening now. 
And the last one is we watch the movie together. We watch the movie together. Are we watching it in the past, in the future, or now? That's right, we're watching it right now. That is going to be a, another present tense verb where it's happening right now. All right, I hope this helped you give you, give you a little better, I hope this helped this, <laughs> this video helped give you a little better understanding of future and past tense verbs and how we use them. Um, there is going to be a part three to this video that talks a little bit about present and, and past tense with regular and irregular verbs. So stay tuned for that.